one of the densest populations of African elephants, can be found in Zimbabwe's Zambezi Valley, and that's just where LeBlanc has traveled on his quest. Two years ago, Peter Horn planted a seed. He said, you gotta come back and do this driven boar hunt. I'm telling you, it's an absolutely incredible experience, one you gotta have on the bucket list. The guy who shoots the boar first, it's his boar. If he wounds the boar and you finish the boar for him, it's still his boar. This is a gentleman's shoot. And if you don't have it on the bucket list, get a bigger bucket. When the animal's already made his move, then you make your move to shoot. Don't go where's the animal, because if you move, that animal will see any movement and he'll go. And I don't think there's anything more exciting than seeing a big black speck come out of a green and brown forest and realize it's a 400 pound boar. Any hunting here in Europe really is about these people creating an economic incentive to keep these critters around, to keep celebrating the pageantry of these animals. You're a part of the business operations at the end of the day. And, and to watch these horse-drawn wagons come and pick up the boar, I mean, you just feel like you're connected through history with an awful lot of folks that have been doing this for a long time. Do not come through the line with a gun like this, just like driven bird shooting. Come like this, then come down on it, okay? You know something's gonna happen. You know, they would not have brought you here if they didn't think something was gonna happen. Everybody good? Okay, yeah, everybody have a great shoot. I'm very excited, let's do it. All right. Battle stations. He will be traveling out of the scrublands to the water's edge with his friend and noted wildlife sculptor, Mike Barlow, as Barlow stalks the animal that kills more people in Africa than any other, the hippo. We're ready to go, the first beat in Hungary. Lots of boar in here, we've got a big open area to shoot. I sort of know what to expect and I sort of don't. It's that sort of delicious, I've never done this before. It could be one hell of a rodeo, let's see what happens. This is where we want to stand. The front one is the south. Big one behind, big one behind. Back here. It's tricky as hell when they're running through these trees. Reload, reload, reload. Hear that? Didn't like that, did it? You gotta just stay on them and swing. It's sort of like shooting a, a sporting clays. I went to it straight away there. Right here, right here. Big boy, big boy. Butt, belly, beak, bang. You know, sometimes it pays to be a bird hunter on these deals. Right, right, right. He's down. <laughs> Dear God, it's a rodeo. Horn kept telling me about this. He said, I promise you, you gotta do this. It's the most fun you can possibly have with a rifle in your hands. I thought, yeah, Peter, yeah, Peter. I get it now, I get it now. With the Seiko 85 sighted in, the time has come to move out into the field. Yeah, you know the hunting's pretty good when you, when you have a tractor and a trailer to get your pigs out. <laughs> Not bad for the first drive of the morning. Well, here's the Bay of Pigs right here. This was a, just an absolute thoroughfare where these pigs were crossing down here. One back here, there's four up here. Three shot? And three more. And three more. Oh, Excellent wow. shot. Okay. I learned from Chip how to shoot. <laughs> Classic boar shape here. You see that big, deep chest? More narrow at the oh, withers. That's just very, very classic oh, boar shape. They have a deep, long tradition of respecting the animals. When you um, shoot an animal, you put some leaves in the mouth, and that's giving its last dinner. Because you've killed it, you're giving its last dinner. Thank you. 
it's an amazing thing when you've never done it, that first time experience, to see these boar coming at you and to see a lot of them. You know, you know it's such a rarefied deal that you want to do a really good job. You want to shoot well, you want to absorb all that this, this bucket list kind of experience offers you. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, nine pigs. I'm humbled. I'm, uh, I'm overwhelmed. It's, that's a lot of pigs. I'm gonna get out and have a little lunch right now. Hopefully the rain lets up, and then we're gonna do one more beat this afternoon. We'll do the big ceremony at the end of that and call it a day. But what a day it's been. Federal Premium Ammunition's Dangerous Game is brought to you by Federal Premium Ammunition. Every shot counts. Weaver. Tough shots, rough places. Dallas Safari Club, promoting conservation, education, and ethical hunting worldwide. Gun Slick Pro, precision gun care. Global Rescue, the only field rescue service for hunters. High Country Taxidermy Studios. I heard a lot of shooting. Oh, Sounds like every, everybody was good, huh? How'd it go? Tony's behind me, just telling me to let him get closer, let him get closer. And then he saw me. <laughs> These are the true Russian boar that are narrow at the withers, deep chested, furry as bears, big teeth on them, lots of attitude. And they're really not a problem as long as you make a good first shot. The wounded boar is a very dangerous animal. He will come for you and he will try to get you with those tusks. Uh, I've seen it up close and personal more than once. So he is an animal to be reckoned with. This is a three to 500 pound animal, sharp teeth. It's got attitude, it's got strength, and it's got speed. It's got everything on its side and it's in thick cover. So yeah, there's a, there's a real adrenaline factor when it, when it comes to following up a wild boar. And I think that's part of what people come here for because it's, it is dangerous game. Hit, hit. It always starts with, I made a bad first shot. Tracking a wounded leopard is a game of inches, as hunter Mike Baker learned with terrifying results. I saw a large group of a wild boar uh, coming at me when they came within about uh, 10 meters, 30 feet. I noticed that the male identified me as a uh, threat to its, uh, to its brood, and I decided to charge. Stopping a charging elephant is a matter of instinctive reflex and cold calculation, and knowing your gun. This is something P.H. Greg Butler learned the hard way. Uh, the only option that I had at that point was effectively to grab the branch next to me and try and lift my body as high off the ground as possible. And as they traveled underneath, um, you could almost hear and feel the, uh, the brush and the heat from the animals. The drive was finished, and the guys go through, you know, to look for any down bore or wounded bore. No problem, no problem. Through, and all of a sudden, you hear this sound, and you know that they have a wounded bore. It's not a dead bore, it's a wounded bore you can hear by the way they yap. An animal that's wounded is a completely different kind of critter. A wild boar can be dangerous because basically, in this part of the uh, world, his only credit against him is man. You know what they're afraid of? Afraid of you shooting a dog. I like the smell of wild boar in the morning. Look at that little wire-haired dachshund. In the case you have the ammo, you are ready, we can go hunting. <laughs> we plan three, three drives today. You know, there's something about the, the beginning of a beat. You know, when you're in position, you know there's going to be boar coming, they're going to be coming from right or left, maybe from behind, you just don't always know. As a prelude to Dorsey's darted rhino hunt, he will be traveling out of the scrublands to the water's edge with his friend and noted wildlife sculptor Mike Barlow. And by the way, God forbid, if you do get charged, this is serious, if you do get charged and the animal is on you, turn your body sideways and take the hit sideways. Do not take the hit like this. They go for your femoral arteries with their tusks. They go right in the middle, and if they cut you with those tusks, they're razor sharp, you are going to bleed pretty quick. 40, 50 kilo of boar will knock, take your legs and break them like nothing. But I think it's that, it's that moment of anticipation. You know something's gonna happen. Don't want to shoot south with little piglets. Had there not been that little one in there, would have been fair game, but don't want to shoot one with a little guy.
such a marginal target, especially on a nearly one-ton dangerous animal, bullet performance is critical. To give both controlled expansion and deep penetration to the vital heart-lung area from any angle, Federal Premium Safari Cape Shock ammunition is the choice. Get more pigs coming right here, right here. And then when you see that first boar coming, you know, boy, there's something that just sort of clicks. Coming. Who's he crossing? I'm going to take him. Damn, that felt good. Back here. It's a DEFCON 4 level, you know, you're just really cranked up at that point. Now the wounded bull's back in the water with his pod, and Mike Barlow has to wait for a clear finishing shot. Yeah, it's coming up. Behind the tree. never know what you're going to shoot in a day. You can shoot 12 bore, you can shoot 50, 60, 70 bore. You're thinking about, all right, I got to be ready because I know as soon as that thing gets to the edge of that opening, it's going to shoot across there and you got to swing. Lord, it's a big bore. Watch this big one right here. Got a camera. Damn, that would have been expensive. You know, they, they have a sense of just knowing exactly when you're ready and when you're not. So you got to be on your game. It's really a, an amazingly interesting shot. And it's just very different than anything else you could do in the hunting world, which is why it's so fun. There we go. Big one right here. You have to put it into the boiler room. These are incredibly tough animals. Even putting it behind the shoulder, those animals were going 60, 70 yards with a 300 grain bullet. There's a big boar right there. Watch him on the other side. I don't see that big guy. I think that big boar that ran across right down here should be down in the ditch. I didn't see it come out the other side. We'll see. The beaters are coming through now, so can't shoot back that way, obviously. We're gonna walk down here, check this out right now. Let's go see what we got. There is, there's the big guy right there. The big guy made it right down to the bottom. That's him. There he is. <laughs> see, when, if you train your eye, you can see white. When you see the big boar, you look for white. If you can see white, it's a good boar. Not a bad boy. That is a big old boar right there. I can see his teeth from here. He's gonna present me with the blood of the animal because it's such a good animal. Oh, shit, I've got, got some, got some size. Got some lots of Got some there. Because you know, the tradition is that you put it in your hat so it shows that you bloodied an animal. Well, it's like trying to get a hippo out of the water. Please, y'all. Please. And it was one of those just monster boars. I mean, this thing was deep, deep chested, big and black. It took a team of five, six guys to pull that thing from the bottom. That's the dangerous end of a boar right there. I'm glad he wasn't wounded. I'm glad he was just dead at the bottom down there. Look at that. I mean, that's. That's serious teeth. Two thirds of that's inside the jaw. It's gonna come from all the way over there, out to here. Oh yeah, that might be the biggest one yet. As the elephants drift into the darkness, the hunters head for the campfire, thoughts of the coming day. This is a day that I'm sure we will remember, all of us, for the rest of our lives. Kusanem. The last thing we have to do, can I please have all the
the boar hunters that never shot a boar. Tony, get me in. Wait till I post this on the Mashama Club site. <laughs> And uh, it's a moment of reflection, it's a moment to honor those animals, it's a moment to honor those that came before us that have created this tradition, this lifestyle that we, we don't just do, we live for. Federal Premium Ammunition's Dangerous Game is brought to you by Federal Premium Ammunition. Every shot counts. Weaver. Tough shots, rough places. Dallas Safari Club, promoting conservation, education, and ethical hunting worldwide. Gun Slick Pro, Precision Gun Care. Global Rescue, the only field rescue service for hunters. Dangerous Game host and author Chris Dorsey is on a crocodile hunt that has spanned two countries and two safaris. And up to now, this most primitive and ancient of predators has proven more than a match for hunter and guide. See this? This is the passport to happiness right here. This is the permission I needed right now. Ha! As the days of frigid typhoon weather stretch on, though, the threat grows from mere inconvenience, boredom, and lost hunting opportunity to one of genuine peril on equipment and on men. Here we go, cut of three, one. Two. So what we got here is this is the first beat of the day. And it sounds like, from the Hungarian that I understand, or I'm guessing anyway, most of the pigs come up this way. It sounds like they veer through here. Sometimes they'll come through the forest here. It's gonna be running, shooting. It's gonna be shooting through these trees. So there's gonna be a little pruning probably going on today. He will be traveling out of the scrublands to the water's edge with his friend and noted wildlife sculptor Mike Barlow as Barlow stalks the animal that kills more people in Africa than any other. The new Federal Premium Seiko 370 Magnum cartridge gives the hunter the advantage of shooting a regular action, larger magazine capacity rifle, coupled with the authoritative stopping power. It sounds like this is a great area. They've seen a lot of boar in this area. Everybody's really optimistic. Should start any minute now, so we're ready. Look at that boar, look at that boar. Out of the camera, of course. Right here. Here we go, here we go, right here, right here. Here he comes. It's a dead pig right there. That's a big con, big boot. bullet. <laughs> here we go, right here. Get ready. Those are dead pigs right there. Get some more ammo going here. Time slipping away on Mark de Young's leopard hunt. And when we come back, what happens when the table's turned and the leopard becomes the hunter? Nice boars. The game is on. Here we go. That's a big pig right there. Little one.
I might need some counseling after this. The most definitive yet most difficult shot on an elephant is front on to the brain. For Dorsey, this means closing with the bull so that when it turns, they will be face to face for the shot. I gotta tell you, I've, I've done a lot of these hunts, and this is the best one I've ever been on with there the best. Hungary is one of my favorite, in fact, it may be my favorite European country right now. I've been here many times, I studied here in, in college. Who shot the most for? Does anybody know? How many did you shoot total? 22. A hunting experience is not just made by the game or the terrain or the weather conditions, whatever, it's it's really made by the people you share it with. And when you share it with, with new people that you haven't been with and you find out they're terrific folks, they're really a lot of fun, they got a lot to offer in terms of their experiences, the humor. I mean, it, that that makes a hunting camp. I don't care if it's a, if it's a wall tent of the Rocky Mountains or if it's a luxury lodge someplace, it doesn't matter. It's really about the spirits that come together and make this thing magical. He gets the honor of the Royal Peak. Why not celebrate this? This is something that's been going on for centuries in Europe. It's great sport, it's great fun, it's great camaraderie. It brings people together to, to keep perpetuating this, this magical lifestyle called hunting.